Welcome back, friends, to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So it's been, well, as the youths say, a hot minute since I've done an EDC video. I've done, uh, you know, a few uh, shorts here and there showing off my, you know, maybe my day off carry or a uh, uh, special function, social function or work function carry. But for the most part, I felt my EDC was dialed in and there wasn't much changing. Uh, you know, I mean... I would change a knife here and there, I would change a wallet here and there, but for the most part, the items were stationary, and uh, that doesn't make for a very uh, fun or original content for these YouTube videos, so, but uh, just recently I did end up picking up the Arkfeld Pro and decided it's time to make some changes and uh, get out of my comfort zone, so that's what we did here, and uh, like I said, this is my first change, and uh, I'm very happy and excited to carry this it's amazing how just having a flat flashlight in your pocket makes all the world uh before i had a round flashlight and the only way i would carry it is on a uh, belt holster and uh so now this car it carries in my left pocket and uh i'm very much enjoying that so let's check out the next item so I just did a uh, video on this recently. This is the Fidelo Minimalist Wallet. And uh, as you can see, uh, it, it's quite an interesting wallet. We have three different pieces. We have the, the money band, the leather, and the aluminum case on the inside here. And uh, holds up to seven cards on the inside, RFID blocking on the inside. We have uh, my license and a uh, card on the outside here as well as holding them a minimum of eight bills on the outside here and the money strap. So that's the Fidelo wallet. Make sure you check out that video and I will leave a link to that down in the description. Next item that i am uh, been EDCing is the Rotary Aviator uh, watch. This was a watch that I did not purchase, it was given to me and it came with a leather band and uh, because it was a used watch with a leather band, I, I kind of uh, was a little skewed out by I thought of leather and sweat and so I did end up purchasing this uh, uh, NATO band that I'm trying out I, I gotta say that uh, this NATO band is probably the most comfortable watch band I've ever owned I think I'm gonna have to invest in more of those so that's the aviator uh, watch by rotary so my biggest change to my uh, EDC is I decided to go away from a typical player based multi-tool and uh, replace it with a Swiss Champ. I've had this in uh, my EDC in the past, but only on a limited basis. And now I'm uh, carrying it full time. I did see that uh, Urban Knife Guy decided to do something similar and uh, I've decided to follow suit. Uh, so he decided to stay away from a, a typical uh, plier based multi-tool and go with that and the Kinepex Cobra pliers. So I'm gonna try that for 30 days like he is and uh, so far, so good. Uh, I have found many uses for the Kinepex Cobra pliers. And being in this uh, leather sheath by Valhalla gear, I found it on Amazon. It's not made for the Kinepex Cobra pliers. Wow. Um, but uh, putting this in my back left pocket when I'm sitting, sitting down, I don't feel them whatsoever. And they don't uh, uh, turn sideways on me. So, the Swiss Champ, on the other hand, has been proven invaluable. Uh, I've used the uh, uh, the screwdrivers on multiple occasions, and I don't typically use uh, the scissors on a multi-tool that often or at all, but uh, there have been a couple occasions where I need to uh, cut a loose thread or uh, something else, and uh, that works just fine. So, th this may be a little overkill, but... Uh, um, We'll see. I have other Swiss uh, Army knives that I can step down to if I don't like it. But I am carrying this on a belt sheath. I will put a link to that uh, belt sheath on my uh, uh, in the description here. I don't feel like taking it off. But uh, um, definitely check that out if you're looking for a way to carry this other than in your pocket or in a pouch. And it's a very comfortable belt sheath. So Now when I carry a multi-tool, I don't typically use the knife on it. I prefer a uh, dedicated knife and I last uh, week or two I've been switching up between these two here. This is the article UI and it's a uh, um, utility knife from Olight or Obi. Well, I, I don't remember. I think it was o Olight 
but uh, very capable and very impressive utility knife with a crossbar lock. And I'm probably going to get a lot of shade for this, but the uh, um, Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Uh, it's a newer knife to my collection and uh, enjoy carrying that as well. So the two knives I'm switching between uh, in my current EDC. So one thing that I've uh, enjoyed recently carrying all the time is these JLab earbuds. I don't remember exactly what uh, um, model they are, but uh, real nice uh, uh, way to listen to your audiobooks or uh, podcasts or music uh, while you're at work or outside, uh, you know, doing yard work. The one nice benefit to them is it has a built-in USB charging cable. So another item that uh, I don't go anywhere without and it's not very exciting is my beard comb. I'll hide that under there. And uh, two staples in my EDC are the polka pen, the right and rain polka pen. This is, again, may not be my most used pen, but is my most carried. I've had this in my EDC for probably a good year and a half, maybe two years now. And uh, goes right in my fifth pocket along with uh, this Zippo lighter. I don't smoke anymore, I haven't for years, but it's always nice to carry uh, some flame in case you need to light somebody else's cigarette or uh, a birthday candle. I do have the uh, butane insert here that uh, uh, offers two different flames. We have the torch as well as the uh, normal uh, flame there. So uh, always nice to carry a Zippo lighter. I found this one at a pawn shop for $5. Uh, again, another staple in my EDC is this OLPR notebook. I haven't been able to find anything that uh, uh, can replace it. It's nice and compact. It's full grain leather. It has nice uh, perforated uh, pages here. You can find uh, replacements on Amazon for those uh, uh, mini notebooks, as well as the uh, leather exterior itself. I do uh, use it as a uh, additional card storage. So th there's that. And I was carrying the Narwalco uh, mini pen here, a small pen. You can get a, um, two of these on Amazon for $12.95. But uh, I was carrying it on the outside of the notebook here and somehow uh, in my pocket uh, just by uh, moving it around, it broke the... Uh, pocket clip off. My fault not to follow the pen. And uh, yes, I know I was carrying three pens, but it was just to test the pen out. Um, but this is probably best for maybe a pouch or maybe, I don't know, a shirt pocket or something like that, but definitely not just loose in your pocket to uh, attach to something else. So again, my fault on that. That's not the pen's fault. And last but not least, uh, the Kimber Pepper Blaster 2. Uh, whenever I'm wearing jeans, uh, going out of the house, um, this is always on my person uh, in a belt sheath. And uh, if you're not familiar, it sh shoots out. Uh, uh, you have two shots of a um, basically a pepper gel. And uh, it shoots out at, I think, 110 miles an hour or 120 miles an hour. And you get hit that, uh, get hit with that in the face, um, between the uh, uh, the speed of it hitting you and the the sting of the pepper, um, you're gonna be down for a little bit. But uh, that is my current EDC setup. I know it looks like a lot, but I don't uh, carry both knives at the same time. This goes on my wrist. Uh, this goes in my fifth pocket, and uh, these two items go on my belt. So. It's not weighing me down too terribly bad. I know it looks like a lot, but uh, it, it works for me. So, as always, I want to say thank you for uh, stopping in and checking out this video. I hope everyone's having a great day, and I will see you next time.